Today I'm making a lathering oil facial cleanser. Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining me on another video. Following on from the oil body wash, oil body scrub and the collab I did with Tara Lee with the Lumerol, um, I've created this new facial cleanser. Um, lots of you are asking about a substitute for Lumerol K5229. There isn't a substitute for it, um, but what I found is uh, Sebamol S1000 can be used as an alternative um, to make shower oils. Um, it is a different product, so it's not a substitute, um, but a different way to make shower oils if Lumerol is not available to you. Obviously, I don't know if this will be available to you as well, but uh, the N INCI was on screen just briefly, um, so you can rewind and check that. Um, it's EcoCert and it's miscible with a high amount of vegetable and synthetic oils, um, which allows you to create peg-free clear shower gels and sh uh, sorry shower oils. Um, it's an emulsifier that will create a slight lather when used in the shower. You won't get bubbles like you do with Lumerol, um, but you'll get a slight lather as you'll see later on. It's especially good for use in facial cleansers, as I'm doing now, um, as it's fantastic for dry skin and it'll emulsify on water contact to thoroughly cleanse. Um, manufacturer usage suggests a rate of 30 to 40%. Um, I'm using 30% in this recipe. Um, so let's catch up with what I've been doing on screen. So hopefully you've followed along because the recipe's right there, but first I add, added the Sebamol S1000, uh, then I added the sunflower seed oil, the jojoba oil, um, and uh, then the rosehip seed oil, um, and essential oil and vitamin E. So that's all in here. Now the trick with Sebamol S1000 is it needs to be homogenized um, because it needs to blend really, really, really thoroughly uh, with the oils to create the cleanser. So what I'm doing here is using a stick blender. If you only have a stick blender, that's fine, um, but you will need to do this for quite a long time to get it to blend thoroughly. And you'll see it does go quite yellow in color at the moment, um, but once you've finished it and it's been left for a few hours, you'll find it goes completely transparent to just sort of like a normal golden transparent oil color. So what I'm doing here is just mixing intermittently um, between stick blending because you want to make sure that the Seedmall S1000 doesn't get um, stuck at the bottom of the beaker because um, it is quite thick. You want to make sure it is all blended in very, very well and then stick blend it again and just keep doing that until you're satisfied that it's all blended perfectly. Once you're happy that's completely blended, then you can fill up your bottles. I'm using these 100ml PET bottles because that's what I had in stock. And now a bit of a lather test just so you can see how it works. Um, it doesn't, doesn't bubble, as I said earlier, um, so don't expect lots and lots of foam, but it does lather nicely and especially on the face it just your skin just feels amazing afterwards it's so so nice and I'd really recommend it if you have oily skin because it really balances it out um, so this I'm just testing on uh, the loofah and my hands just so you can see there there is a little bit of foam there and a tiny bit of lava but obviously it's not as much as Lumerol so if you are looking for foam and bubbles Lumerol is literally the only product I found but if you want a nice sort of cleanser then Sebamol S1000 is really good, but there are other oil emulsifiers. Um, so have a look because you can make a product like this with many other products. And here it is after it's sat for a few hours. As you can see, it's a nice transparent oil color. Um, if you do want Sebamol S1000, you can get it from soapkitchen.co.uk. I'm afraid I don't know uh, other USA or, or other country suppliers. Um, if you're interested in more Lumerol videos, then I've done a patron only exclusive of solid body scrub bars. 
Um, that's a really good one. If you want to go check that out, please join my Patreon. And if you like this video, then leave a like below and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.